21. Nine minutes before countdown. Nine minutes. Nine minutes before countdown. Nine minutes while the world waits and wonders. Share, if you dare, the unbearable suspense of men and women who have never in their lives faced greater peril. The day the Earth caught fire will burn itself into your memory. Is it fiction or is it fact? The Day the Earth Caught Fire is a British science fiction disaster film starring Edward Judd, Leo McKern, and Janet Munro. It was directed by Val Guest and released in 1961 and is one of the classic apocalyptic films of its era. The film opened at the Odeon Marble Arch in London on November 23, 1961. The film, which was partly made on location in London and Brighton, used matte painting to create images of abandoned cities and desolate landscapes. The production also featured the real Daily Express, even using the paper's own headquarters, the Daily Express building in Fleet Street, London, and featuring Arthur Christensen as the Express editor, a job he had held in real life. A lone man walks through the sweltering streets of a deserted London. The film then goes back several months. Peter Stenning had been an up-and-coming journalist with the Daily Express, but since a divorce threw his life into disarray, he has been drinking too much. One of his lines is Alcoholics of the Press Unite, and his work has suffered. His editor has begun giving him lousy assignments. Stenning's only friend, Bill McGuire, is a veteran Fleet Street reporter who offers him encouragement and occasionally covers for him by writing his copy. Meanwhile, after the Soviet Union and the United States accidentally detonate simultaneous nuclear bomb tests, strange meteorological events begin to affect the globe. Stenning is sent to the British Met Office to obtain temperature data, and while there he meets Jeannie, a young typist who is temporarily acting as telephonist. Stenning then discovers that the weapons test have had a massive effect on Earth. He asks Jeannie to help him get any relevant information. It becomes apparent the Earth's mutation has been altered by 11 degrees, affecting the climate zones and changing the pole in the equator. The increasing heat has caused water to evaporate and mists to cover Britain, and a solar eclipse occurs days ahead of schedule. Later, characters realize that the orbit of the Earth has been disrupted and the planet is spiraling in towards the sun. The government imposes a state of emergency and starts rationing water and supplies. People start evacuating the cities. Scientists conclude that the only way to bring Earth back into a safe orbit is to detonate a series of nuclear bombs in western Siberia. Stenning, McGuire, and Jeannie gather at a bar to listen to the radio broadcast of the event. The bombs are detonated, and the shockwave causes dust to fall from the bar's ceiling. At the newspaper print room, two versions of the front page have been prepared. One reads, World Saved. The other, World Doomed. The film ends without revealing which one will be published. The film was made in black and white, but in some original prints, the opening and closing sequences are tinted orange-yellow to suggest the heat of the sun. It was shot with 35 millimeter anamorphic lenses using the French dialoscope process. So check out this sci-fi disaster film classic on DVD, Blu-ray, or streaming and I'll see you in the next exciting video.